Hi, today we are going to talk about an exciting new topic, Pinterest shopping catalog. This is going to change the face of e-commerce businesses on Pinterest. You don't have to anymore upload individual products through pins. You can just upload your catalog and get the entire product, you know, all the products on your store at one go. So it's it's pretty phenomenal if you think about the development for an e-com store. So one thing is this was launched very recently so i'm sure they're trying to make improvements as we speak so when i was trying it out for the first time it was glitchy but pinterest support was great they responded to it uh, you know very frequently and i kind of have my friend who's also a, a facebook ecom marketer kind of help me out with a little bit of the setup and successfully we were able to do it so i want to show you how to set up your first catalog and you know, if you are an e-com store and you don't have the time to do it, you can reach out to us. We are a Pinterest management agency and we'll be happy to do it for you. And if you like, you know, uh, to know more about Pinterest tips for e-commerce to subscribe to the button, hit on the bell icon. So every time I have a new video, you'll definitely be notified and you don't want to miss out on this. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to try to keep this as straightforward as possible but it could seem a little complex in the beginning so you know i'm also learning as we go in, despite of being a pinterest manager because this is a very very new feature so if you guys do have any challenges of any kind please leave a comment and i'll try to help you out okay so i'm going to share all these links in the description so if you get confused anywhere please just go through the description and you know you can follow it step by step so this is what is the data source file so unlike facebook you cannot uh, straight away upload it or upload your product catalog onto pinterest you need to have a csv file or a tsv file or an xml file to kind of help you with your catalog okay so i was familiar with csv so i went ahead and you know did a csv file let me just go through this a little bit so you understand. So these are your required fields, okay? So there is ID, this title, this description, link, image link, price, availability, condition, and this, okay? And Google product category. So when you download the sample you don't know you you get a few more fields in addition to the required field so let me show you once you download the sample what it looks like okay okay great so this is what the sample looks like so let's quickly run through the fields there is uh, let me minimize this so you could see it Okay, so what are the required fields? So the required field is ID, its title, its description, its link, it is uh, image link, it is image link, price, availability, condition, then this Google product category. So this is where things could get a little confusing. So you see this extra, there is product type, additional. So you don't need, you only need it till here. So if you look at this, this is all I kind of built my catalog with. It's till here. Because these are things you definitely need to add. Now, how do you find out what is this? What, what do you mean by Google or a product category? So... If you go back to the previous sheet, there is a link in this page called Full Taxonomy. You could download this. Again, if you want to kind of have this, I'll put this up in the description so you can directly download this. Open this. And when you open this, you get a bunch of, uh, I don't know, a pretty comprehensive Excel sheet. So my client is in the fashion industry. And he is dresses. So this is, I was trying to create a product catalog with dresses. So what I did was I kind of tried to look for the Google taxonomy. So what I, I would do, control F if you're on the Windows computer, command F if you're on Mac. I would say dress because this is a pretty comprehensive list. 
So, okay, let me kind of just minimize this. Okay. Okay, so dress. So it is not dance dresses. So I'm just going to go to the next one. It's not baby and toddler dresses. Okay, it's this. So it's apparel and accessories, clothing, dresses. Okay, so now how am I going to write this down? Let me show you that here. Okay, so you're going to write this down like this. It's, it's similar to what they put up in the sample. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so let me show you mine, which is um, here. It's this. So I copy this over. So it's basically, I have to go back to the taxonomy. There we go. So it is. Uh, it is apparel and accessories with the symbol and then it has clothing with the symbol it has dresses with the symbol and it has 2271 but if you were to go back to the sample they don't have the symbol so it's just dresses and 2271 so this also worked for me it's uh, this is what i did with my catalog it worked for me it wasn't a problem you could try it with and without and see you know if it works so whatever you choose this is the format once this is done so this is an important thing so so step one you've got to fill out these columns and there are two things you've got to keep in mind here when you fill out these columns some of these things could be very pretty complex for you like what is id what is item group Title is pretty straightforward. What is the title of your product? What is the description? The link is again straightforward. The image link is where things get different. I'll explain that to you. Price, availability, condition, Google product category, all these are straightforward. I want you to kind of I want to kind of explain what the image link is all about now. So let me go into my, my client's Google Drive folder and I'll explain this to you. One thing that's important is because I've done all of this on Google Drive, you will first need to upload all of your product images and try to keep them with, is, uh, with the Pinterest size, which is of 600 pixels into 900 pixels. Because of which what happens is uh, when you try to use these pins across Pinterest, now your ideal pin size. So it's important you kind of adjust that. It's a little bit of work, but it's one time work. You know, once you have that product uploaded, you don't need to upload another uh, another product unless it's a new product or, you know, it's a it's an offer you're kind of running or a different pin design for the product. So upload all of your 600 into 900 pixels uh, images in here and uh, you can see like I've uploaded them. So this is one. This is one. And uh, now what you've got to do is I've saved it. I've saved the ID as one, two, three, etc. So if you see it's uh, one for the ID, one for the ID title, everything else is straightforward. So image link. How do I add the image link into the Excel sheet or, you know, the Google sheet? So what I got to do is go here, click on this. Then you come over and you say share. And you have to ensure this is the option. Anyone with the link can edit. And what you've got to do is you've got to copy this. Okay, let's just copy a link. And this is what is going to be different. So this is your link. But you don't add this link onto your Google Sheet. What you do is you've got to add a direct download link. So what is a direct download link is you copy this. And you remove this. And you remove this. Hopefully I'm right. Let me just take a look at this. Yep. Yeah. 
so you just end it with the number you see it is uh, this one r4 zach i n r so this is what that is and this is the link you got to add here what do you mean by a direct download link if i were to click this link what happens is it's immediately down downloaded so you see there's a download here that's what a direct download link is so you upload all these direct download links here once that is uploaded you've got to save this as so if you're doing this on google sheet you have to save it as a csv you've got to say download as a csv okay and once you've downloaded it as a csv you've got to come back here you've got to come back to your drive and upload the csv in here into your google drive and do the exact same thing with the final sheet so you come back here and you say share and you say anyone with the link can edit you copy this out and again it's a direct download file so you put it in here and you copy this bit which is before the slash the closing slash key and you paste it in here so this is what you are going to be adding into your catalog so the first thing is going to be to download the excel sheet i've put in my sample as well so that you don't get confused there is also the pinterest sample if you want to refer to it then you start filling out the columns wherever you can and you have to add all the product images to drive and then you fill out the columns which you know which is the product image links and which is what i told you which is a direct download link right then you save it as a csv and you upload it back to drive you add that link on pinterest so i hope this wasn't overwhelming and confusing so this is going to be step 1 i have uh, filled out all of this then what i'm going to do is i'm going to download this as a csv okay so then what's going to happen is i'm going to come back here and uh, i would upload this uh, file over here onto the drive which i've already done here so now what i would do is just click on this get my share thing anyone the link in edit copy this zenu which i think i already have here okay so i would copy this link and then i would go into pinterest under ads go into catalogs and once you go here this is what you see what you see is you see data source you see product groups and you see help center so and you can see it's active so you come in here and you edit it out you see it's a direct link so this is what it is and you have to select the format of what it is and then you just hit submit and now what happens is say you have new products you have new products to add to this you've got to kind of do the same exercise and come back and add the data source url then pinterest kind of crawls this sheet every 24 hours so if you do have any new products you'll have it in here and uh, where do you find these product catalogs so there is also okay just before i go to that let me just tell you what product groups are so i don't have i only have two pins out of which only one has gotten through so there's a glitch with the other pin i have to get that fixed so what i have to do is uh, create product only this uh, uh, white blazer has kind of gotten through so say i have a Oh, uh, because it's one product catalog sheet, so I can group them now. I can say, okay, all these are dresses, all these are, uh, you know, uh, all these are tops, all these are uh, party wear. So I could group them according to that. So if I were to run catalog ads, it will be easy for me. So I want to create an ad. You can choose a shopping catalogs. so it would be a uh, grayed out like this if you didn't have a shopping catalog added but since i already have mine added i can hit shopping catalogs and then i can choose whatever i want to do so this is not a video to set up your campaign but this is how you can create ads with your shopping catalog now where will you find this on your store i mean on your account sorry so once you go in here you've got to go into your personal profile and when you go down
go into both this is what you would see you would see uh, products you tagged so all of your shopping catalog pins would come in here so uh, if I so all the products you tag also would come in here so those are two different things but also your shopping catalog pins come in here so this is where you'll find all of your pins and uh, this is uh, where you can you know then schedule them out so if I were to click on this I can then start saving them out into uh, whichever boards I wanted and schedule them out from Tailwind. I know this was a little confusing, but I hope it helps you. And you know, if you do have any questions, try to comment and I'll try to help you out. If you know uh, I'm not responding earlier, you could also reach out to the Pinterest Support Center. They've been pretty helpful, but the only thing they can't do is they can't record videos or anything like that. They'll just send you emails back and forth. And uh, if you want us to do it, we can do this for you because um, it's a little time consuming. It is elaborate and you've got to do it correctly. Otherwise, it's frustrating and we'll be happy to help you out. So you have a good day and good luck to you. Bye.